Hey everyone, I spent a little while debating with myself whether or not I wanted to make a video on this. As you can see over here, I have mod list backup. And if you take a look at your Steam Workshop mod list, you'll probably not see it. And that's because it has been removed from the workshop, unfortunately. Now this is a little bit of drama, and that's why I was speaking about the whole debating with myself thing. I don't want to um, spotlight any drama, especially unnecessary drama, which is from, like, this is spawning a lot of unnecessary drama for no reason. So I'll just give you the gist of the story. And then some alternatives, because that's why I want to make this video, just to provide some alternatives. Um, so the mod maker, Scuba156, as you can see over here, he removed the mod from the Steam Workshop. No one is sure why, but he's gone out of his way to make sure that other people can't get copies of the mod and stuff like that. So he, he removed it from the Steam Workshop. He also took it, he took down another upload of the, um, of the Steam Workshop. Someone re-uploaded it, and that's his intellectual property, he asked him to take it down. Which is fair enough, it is his, he can do what he wants with it. And then he also removed his GitHub repositories. So no one can get this mod anymore from the places where you used to get them, from the official sources, which is the person who made them, which is Scuba156. Now, my opinion is irrelevant. Anyways, the mod does not have a license to it. I, I don't, I think when you upload it to Steam, you agree to something, but in general, you can redistribute things you make for free unless he's specifically gone out of his way to get one. Um, but that's irrelevant. It's his mod. He can do what he wants with it. Uh, he hasn't provided an explanation, not that I can see, besides saying he's just having a hard time in life. From what I can see, that's the reason that he's having a tougher time in life. And that's fair enough, dude. Life is hard. Life is tough. Uh, my personal opinion on it is that he shouldn't have gone out of his way to make sure that other people can't use it. But, you know, maybe, maybe he didn't have a choice. It, it might have been someone else doing it for him. Uh, you know, you don't know his story. I'm not going to comment on his story. Now, the reason that I did want to make this video, and I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible, is to provide people an alternative. Because there will be alternatives eventually. Um, obviously, I have a local one over here. You can get this one off my Discord server. It's pinned on the Discord server in the mods channel. You can go get it over there. I don't want to redistribute it, though. This is my local version. Obviously, when Alpha 18 comes around, you're not going to be able to get another version of it that's going to be stopped updating. Um, but another one, another alternative for it is called Mod Switch, which is made by Dr. Van Gogh. It is an awesome mod from what I can see so far. It does pretty much the same thing that Modless Backup does. Uh, but it's just a bit more bare bones at the moment. It doesn't have all the fluff. You can't make different colors and stuff like that. But you know what? That's okay. People just want the backup ability, and that's fine. Another one that you can use is Mod E made by Pardaikia, and this is also pretty good. You can like import saves and stuff like that, it'll tell you if you don't have the right list to a save and everything like that. Now this is also, this works great, I recommend using both Mod E and then the new Mod Switch. I'll put a link to both of them in the description, you can get Mod E on Steam. Keep in mind though, Mod E needs to go above core. So, uh, that may like trigger you a little bit, it may like, or your spider sense may be tingling a little bit, but that's okay, you do need to put it there. Um, as I said though, I don't want to demonize the creator of mod list backup, and I don't want to don't want to go against his word. Uh, that is, this is my local version. You guys can go get it if you want to, but I don't want to redistribute it. Um, please don't like go out of your way to be a dick to him. Don't demonize him. It is his choice. It's his mod. He can do whatever he wants with it. Uh, the reason that I backed mine up, I do have this little description here, but it's sort of stupid. But the reason I backed mine up is because. By default, the game actually uh, lists local things at the top. So, for example, if I didn't have mod this backup right now, let me show you. I'll load up my vanilla one. And let's leave core on, just, you know, just in case and everything like that. And I go ahead and do this. Initializing. Lack of editing is getting to me, you know. <laughs> this is quite a while. This is a lot longer than I thought it'd be. And you can see straight away I have modless backup over here thanks to the fact that it is local. So I can just quickly enable Hugslip, modless backup, and then the other ones that I use. But yeah, because I have so many mods, um, it does take a while to actually to actually load up the mod list. But anyways, that's it for this video. I just wanted to make this video to provide people an alternative because it is the right thing to do. Since this was a major, major used mod, it had close to 20,000 subs on Steam, if I remember correctly, which is obscene. It's absolutely obscene when you consider that you need to be an active player and using mods to actually want to use a mod. And that mod is also a little bit confusing when you first see it, so. Anyways, that's my opinion on it. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm gonna cut the video there because it's already longer than it should have been. Um, but yeah, I just want to speak about some channel things now, the rest of the video is finished. Um, I've been streaming a lot more recently, 
But a big thing that's happened is that we reached our goal on Patreon, which was $150. So I'll be doing a lot more drunk streams um, where I'm like drinking beer and just enjoying myself. We did actually reach 200 today, um, which is amazing. So thank you guys so much. Like, thank you so much to the Patreon supporters and everything. Um, I'm absolutely blown away, to be completely honest. Absolutely and utterly blown away. Uh, but yeah, just thank you guys so much. I, I really, really appreciate it. I will be following up on all the goals. So the current goal we have now is a drunk stream, which I will be doing on Saturday, this coming Saturday. So it's the 18th of September right now. Saturday was the 16th, was it? Yeah, so the 24th, the 23rd or the 24th, I'll be doing one. I'm just going to drink a lot of beer and have fun. So please come hang out. It'll be a really good time. I will put a video up on YouTube, so be sure to hit the little bell. Anyways, have an amazing day. I will see you all tomorrow. Hey you, thanks so much for making it to the end of my video. I really, really appreciate it. Editing videos is both my hobby and my passion. And with that in mind, I've decided to open up a Patreon if you'd like to support me besides in the amazing ways that my subscribers already usually do. I've got loads of perks and benefits, including having your own personally custom made colonist being one of my default colonists in the mod showcases, special roles on Discord, joining me while I stream, monthly Q&As and podcasts. I've got it all. Come take a look. All support is always appreciated, monetarily or not. If you're a subscriber, then be sure to hit the little bell over here to always be up to date with videos I push out, and head over to the Discord if you ever want to have a deep and meaningful chat with me. And last but not least, I hope you're having an amazing day.